What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you a Brave Cross news. Hey, hey guys, sorry, this is quite a bit of a quick video. Well, actually it was an impulse video because I, as you guys can see, I'm actually doing my daily layer um, thing also. I can get my layer points, but um, I decided to have a look or at the my Facebook basically I guess my, the, my Facebook for Munchkins Gaming you know not my personal one so um and I noticed that Brave Cross is updating to version 1.2 which is will be tonight basically um and they actually released the patch notes already and so I decided it's my day off. I'll make a video out of it. I'm not gonna wait till the end of the week to actually talk about uh, version 1.2. Maybe what I'll do at the end of the week is give you my thoughts if there's any bugs, which I know there will be some. So uh, anyway, let's get on with it. I'm gonna move this in there so you guys can see. The patch notes, full patch details for version 1.2, and so I did talk a little bit about this when their preview for the patch. So <clears throat> we have a fair idea of what's going on. So newly added, the first one is the Chronicle Shop, which we talked about, and then the Legion, Legion Tech, which we also talked about. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um. They said various tech has different effects on different players in the Legion tech can be upgraded using the XP gain from members donation. Uh, number three is the new support system in game, help shift, which is you go to your avatar, go to system settings. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put Brave Cross on my other screen so I can keep doing my lair while we talk about this. Um, you go to your avatar, you go to system settings, and then you go to support. It has always been there, but it wasn't working at all. So, you know, at, at least now it's working, I guess. I don't know how good their response time will be uh, uh, when it comes to that, but hey, at least they're trying, all right? Number four is a huge makeover of the Legion instance, replacing old features. Now, this is why I actually needed to make this video straight away, because I was just reading through it and I'm like, what the hell are they doing? So anyway, the first one is Legion Instance will not make produce any items. Former items will still remain. Now, what I understand from this is there won't be any drops anymore, but the past drops will remain. So this is a little bit of a... Um, when, sorry, I haven't actually read through all of this, so... when. I was reading through it, I was just like, why would you do that? We, we, we were getting free items from that. It, it was making, you know, getting final wings a lot easier because you're not in the RNG, uh, you know, RNG Jesus uh, hands, basically. So I was like, why would they do that? Anyway, let's go on. Uh, I want to read everything because <laughs> I haven't. Legion instance boss can be upgraded. Each attack gains XP and as the level increases, the rewards also increase. Now, I don't know what those rewards were, but Legion Instance limited clearing rewards has been removed. So, I think what they're saying here is the limited clearing rewards is either when you, you know, when you um, damage the boss, there are times that items will drop. So I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Legion Instance will always be in an unlock state. Does not require anyone to unlock it, which I guess it's okay, but no one's getting any rewards anymore. Each Legion Instance can be reset manually three times a week. So you don't need someone to actually reset it. You can always do that. Legion Instance is force reset every Monday at 5. Uh, 5 a.m. regardless of the kills or how many kills you guys have done. The boss level is kept the same. This reset also resets manual 
reset count. So that's all right. Players who leave the Legion will enter a trader stage lasting 72 hours where they cannot donate, challenge the Legion boss, or receive boss rewards. Now, 72 hours is a little bit too much. I mean, 24 hours was um, already annoying enough, you know, when you're, you know your Legion is dead and you're like, I want to go to somewhere where there's more active players. 72 hours is a little bit too much. Maybe 48 hours, I would have said, oh, okay, but yeah, nah. Uh, you, can't, you cannot leave the Legion within 24 hours of joining, which is fair enough. If the Legion average level is 20 less than the highest level in the Legion, then the boss will have additional 700% attack HP and 300% final damage. And final damage minus, I guess that's re reduced final damage. Um... Oh, I'm not sure what this is. If the Legion's average level is 20 less than the highest level in the Legion. I guess, so there's a, a top player and if there's like less than, you know, there's the average level for everyone is basically less than that. So let's say uh, at the moment, you know, um, level 70 uh, is the, your highest play, ranking player. Or sorry, level 80 now, sorry. So level 80 and basically the average level for the Legion should be 60 plus or else the boss will have an additional attack HP and 300% final damage. I don't know why they did that but that doesn't make much sense to me but anyway um, so no more items will not produce any items so I, I wonder what the rewards are when clearing the legion boss i suppose this is just going off of what they showing i suppose they're still saying there's still some rewards sorry there you will you will receive a reward when you beat the boss so i'm guessing that um they're not producing any items that sort of when you hit the boss and sometimes you know Let's say you drop it to like 90%, like items will drop. I think that won't be a case anymore. So you really have to beat the boss before you get the rewards. Um, I'm not sure. It's not very clear. To, it's, it's not always clear with these guys anyway. But um, there's still a lot of questions in this patch notes. But anyway, let's move on. Here are adjustments for... Mythic Kitsune Talent and uh, Mythic, uh, sorry, Legend Kitsune Talent and Imperial Mythic Talent and Star Caller Mythic Talent. So there's um, some changes there, and so the increase in the City Siege for rewards, which is nice because we still haven't been getting any freaking, you know, the top tier. Uh, Legion instances, uh, sorry, CD Siege instances, like it's still coming soon, uh, but I think they're upgrading some of them. Let's have a quick look. So Blaze and Gallon. So there's Gallon, and then where's Blaze? Blazing? Is it Blazing? I guess it's Blazing in Aquin and Terran. Terran, yeah, so basically the second biggest stuff, um, they're getting an increase, so uh, in Blaze, the Red Ma Shards times 3 will change to Eterna Shard, uh, Gallant Uranger will change to Sohi Shard, which is nice, um, Aquin will get, change from Punisher to Vanda Shard, uh, Fleur will t still be Fleur, but you'll have 5 Shards now, so that's an increase, which is very nice. And when you, if you do succeed in getting it, you do get uh, 100 Great Elixir for Blaze and uh, 50 Warsaws for uh, Gallon. Uh, Aquin, you get 20 Refined Crystals. Uh, so I guess Gallon didn't change really because it's still 50. Terran, you get... Uh, 300 gems, so that's not too bad. And CD Siege points are all now 800, which is nice because honestly, 
I am having a hard time trying to get enough points to get all my Dragoon stuff. But not like it'll change anyway. My Dragoon's still 5 star and nothing on that. But still, I want my Fate Dragoon. Uh, next is they removed the daily purchase limit in Legion Shop, which is nice. Uh, Legion Shop has been added a variety of items in price adjustments, which we sort of um, sorted out. I mean, we talked about it anyway. And City Siege Wars, City Get. So this is what they meant by the City Galling holding rewards. So basically, if you get Gallon, that's where you get it. So every three days. Uh, if you if your um, legion wants soy shards every three days, you get five of them every three days. Uh, but yeah, we've already spoke to that, and they added these ones, which I spoke about as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I I'm just surprised at all the change they did with legion instance. Only time will tell. Well, I don't think a lot of people want that. Uh, that idea where they're not getting anything if they don't beat the um, Legion boss, but you know, um, hey, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for this video. Remember to click like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful at all. As always, I would like to hear from you guys what you think of version 1.2, and are you excited or disappointed? with the update i know a lot of you were disappointed in the update and i must say i'm a little bit as well uh please follow me in facebook and in twitter at munchkins gaming and yeah i'll see you guys in the next level